it is Tuesday Minties, and that means depending on where you get your collected editions from, today is the day that new collected editions come out, or Wednesday, January 15th. But anyway, this is an advanced look at five trade paperbacks from Marvel Comics that come out on January 15th. So please stay tuned. And welcome back, Minties. Now, as I've said, these books will be available on January 15th. Don't forget to also check out that Spider-Man video that I put out on Sunday. Uh, but before I get started on this one, uh, I'd like to say a quick shout out to David Gabriel, Michael Breen, all the people at Marvel for sending us advanced copies of these books to make it possible for you all to check out too. So let's get started with Star Wars, the original trilogy. This collection is pretty interesting, or at least I think so. It retails for $34.99. Um, all of this stuff has been previously collected in Epic Collections. It's been collected in uh, the hardcovers for each one of these. And so it kicks off with this book right here, the, the Star Wars issue number one that kicked off the series for Marvel. It is written by Roy Thomas and drawn by Howard Chaikin. And it's an adaptation of the... Uh, first Star Wars movie when it was just known as Star Wars and not A New Hope. I get, I am assuming I can flip through here without spoiling anything for anybody. I hope by now you have all watched Star Wars. But anyway, if you haven't, I'll still be careful and not be uh, looking through spoilers. As a matter of fact, that was almost a spoiler there if you've never seen the movies. Um, so this collects issues one through six of the original Star Wars series. Like I said, it's an adaptation. And then issue seven, they kind of did their own stories. And all that is by Roy Thomas. And then Archie Goodwin took over the title. So by issues 39 through 44, The Empire Strikes Back begins. As a matter of fact, this is really cool. They have the actual covers here by uh, Adi Granov. He's the one that did the hardcover covers. So there's Empire Strikes Back. So it didn't renumber or anything. It just began in the pages of Star Wars issue 39. And that lasted until issue 44. And then we get to the final movie, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. That is a pretty badass Boba Fett by Walter Simonson. Actually, we'll look at the... Yeah, we can't spend too much time on these books because there's a lot to cover, so let's get to Return of the Jedi, Episode 6. Uh, Archie Goodwin, Al Williamson is doing this. Now, this is not a, um ongoing series. It's the They have their own miniseries that came out in 1983, and it is Return of the Jedi, so it's issues 1 through 4 of that miniseries. And I'm sure you can probably tell when I was flipping through here, these have the new coloring on them. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I know some of you all are purists. Now let's look at the goodies here, the extras. So pin up sections. There's a lot of these, so I'm not going to flip through all of them, but maybe highlight a couple that I remember. Like I know there's an Arthur Adams that he did. I think it was a cover for the collection when it came out in Dark Horse, uh, when Dark Horse owned the rights to them. That uh, is the poster by Howard Chaikin. So uh, this is a really cool story. I've, I've, I've heard about this. So they had no idea. They were basing the limited series of like Empire Strikes Back on the movie script. And then what Yoda was supposed to look like. And then they changed Yoda, the puppet, in the movie. And they sent him an updated drawing of what he looks like. And that's why there were changes. Like in the original printing and then in the reprint in the comic. I think one came out in paperback. Here's the British cover gallery. The omnibus covers. That's the picture. Oh, I love that picture. I don't know what it was. Man, that Arthur Adams just spoke anime to me. Adam Hughes. I know he did a Princess Leia. I mean, it's Adam Hughes. Of course he did. He did. I was right. Oh, and then the Hilde, uh, Tim and Greg uh, Hilder, Hildebrand covers are here, too, from the Omnibus. Uncolored pages, uninked pages. This one has a lot of stuff. It is $34.99 and has 348 pages. And here is the introduction of the hardcover of episode four by Peter Mayhew, who played Chewbacca and sadly passed away. Billy D. Williams did the one for Empire and Warwick Davis, who played Wicked, did the one for Return of the Jedi. Now I am very excited to read this. This is Savage Sword of Conan, uh, volume two. It retails for $19.99. Oh, I do need to hold up the spine. So after this one, I'll uh, hold up the spines for you all that have been wanting me to hold that up. 
I was not happy that they, uh, it looks like the people that are writing it are different than Jerry Duggan, because I really enjoy Jerry Duggan's run. So you have Meredith, Finch, Jim Sub, but it is the return of Roy Thomas. Um, you have Luke Ross on artwork, Patrick Searcher, and Alan Davis. So that Roy Thomas story has to be pretty kick-ass to be a Conan story. I mean, this is the guy that wrote Conan for years. Not just Conan, but Savage sort of Conan. Really digging this color on the artwork, though, on both Luke Ross and on Patrick Searcher. Uh, this book is 136 pages, by the way. That's how long it is. Um, here's the Alan. This is the Roy Thomas Alan Davis story. So I can't wait to read this. I haven't read this yet. I'm excited to. I really enjoyed the first one. I talked about it on the channel. And I hope it carries at least some of that brutality and awesomeness that made up the first one. Now let's look at the extras here in the back if there are any. So we have just a few variant covers and on the opposite page a few variant covers. And then of course the ongoing by Jason Aaron. And for those that have wanted me to do this, here's what the spines look like of all five of these books. They're all sorts of different variations, but they all have the Marvel logo up top, whether it's this long extended one or the short one for the smaller trades. Next up, we have a collection that I know some of you all are excited about. I've been asked one thing and I've been wondering one thing and is this collection have the Obnoxio the Clown versus X-Men number one in here and rest assured it does. Uh, but it's just called Obnoxio the Clown number one. So it kicks off with a 2019 one-shot crazy magazine done by a bunch of different uh, creators. Here's Obnoxio the Clown, created by one of my favorite writers of all time and my favorite MASH member, Larry Hama. I love that guy's Wolverine and G.I. Joe, and yeah, that was uh, he, he was in episodes of MASH. But anyway, uh, Crazy Magazine was this black and white magazine, kind of like Mad Magazine, uh, but focused more on superheroes. I only had a couple of these, so I don't have a lot. So most of the stuff that's in here is all in black and white, and it has this kind of cartoony uh, art style to it, similar to what Mad Magazine or Cracked was doing at the time. But you'll recognize a lot of creators' names through the pages here like Jim Osley, Buck McLeod. Um, and it does have the color pages too. So here is Obnoxio the Clown. This is, I remember how dark this was. I was like, why did this clown just kill Kitty Pride? I was a kid and I found this one shot at like a used bookstore. I never heard of Obnoxio the Clown. And for some reason he was able to kill, like even the joke is dark, how you kids, what's yellow and black and don't breathe no more? A dead school bus? Man, that is dark. Like. All right, uh, and that's from like 1983, I want to say. And it's a short story, but it also collects this one here. The story, artwork, letters, and colors is all done by Alan Cooperberg. It doesn't take itself seriously. Um, now, the contents of this book are Obnoxio the Clown, the 2019 series, the that one shot. Obnoxio the Clown, that's the number one, that's versus the X-Men and that other short story. And then material from Crazy Magazine, 20, 22, 28, 31, 39, 42, 57, 59, 60, 62, and 63, 65, 66, that's a lot, 68 and 72, but it's also material, 75 through 90, 92 through 94. And then what I love that they just put somewhere because they had to include these somewhere. My daughter loves these, so I'm glad that we actually have a collection of these now. Are these Meow variant covers? All of them are collected in here. They're the ones that were drawn by Nao Fuji. And they are completely adorable. We had the Wolverine one and we had the Sp yeah, we had the Spider-Man one and the Wolverine one. These are so damn cute. Like, I I don't know if she's drawn a comic book. I don't know if she's drawn manga. But yeah, these are adorable. And I'm glad that Marvel decided to make covers out of them. Yeah, this is the Wolverine one that we had. Come on, how can you not find that adorable? But anyway, Marvel used these as uh, variant covers and they're collected in here. 248 pages, it retails for $19.99. Um, and I guess that price point is because most of this stuff is in black and white. And here we have Acts of Vengeance. Nope, nope, that's not what it is. Acts of Evil, sorry about that. Uh, this book retails for $34.99. Um, I say Acts of Vengeance because it's even in the font of Acts of Vengeance, which 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 I love it all. Uncanny Omar talk pretty one day. Don't have time to edit. Got to put these videos out before I go on vacation. Um, it was a ser it was a series of crossover events that started with uh, the Avengers by John Byrne and crossed over into multiple series where villains 
like switched heroes that they fought. So like Magneto went to fight Captain America, Tiger Shark went to fight Wolverine, um, and so on and so forth. So what's pretty interesting about this is that there's not a big event like that. It's just a collection of annuals in here. So it's really cool what it collects. And I like to find out who the characters fought, like Kamala Khan's fighting the Super Scroll. Let's flip a little more through here so I don't ruin anything. There's Venom. There's different creators a lot because each one, each of the annuals is written by somebody else. Uh, there is Venom right here. Oh, he's fighting, uh, he's fighting the Monster Hunter. Uh, what's her name? Lady Hellbender? That's cool. Uh, Wolverine is fighting Morgan Le Fay. Uh, Moon Knight fights my one of my favorite, my favorite Avengers villain, Kang the Conqueror. So this is really cool that they did this, but there is not like an ongoing story uh, throughout the whole thing, unlike Acts of Vengeance, where a mischievous god was behind everything. So you can just read each one shot and it stands alone. Here is, yeah, this one's really cool. I like the artwork. Who's the artist on this? Yeah, at least talk about that. Ibrahim Mustafa and Matt Horak are the artist, written by Colin Bunn. So this collection collects Punisher Annual Number One. Just assume that these are all the 2019 annuals, and they're all number one, by the way. Venom Annual, Miss Marvel Annual, Deadpool Annual, She-Hulk Annual, Ghost Spider Annual, Moon Knight Annual, and then the Wolverine Annual Number One. Yeah, I really like that art. Let's look at the Wolverine one. This is the one with Morgan Le Fay. Actually, this is the only one that I read because it's Wolverine. I had to sit down and read it, and I have never read it. It's, a, it's pretty cute. and I don't know if it's character accurate, but I, it was a pretty cute story. I really like the artwork. Now, let's look in the back here for extras. What do we have? So, oh my gosh, that is a cool cover. So, that's all the annuals, all the variants, and this is what the connecting covers look like. That's really cool. And Pasquale Ferry. Uh, and Chris Sotomayor, 264 pages, $34.99. Is that Contagion? Because that's what we're talking about next. So this is Contagion. It retails for $15.99. This particular trade paperback brings back memories because I remember it was solicited, but they hadn't announced the series yet because as you know, solicitations are always ahead of time, uh, especially when you're looking at like the third quarter of 2020 or the first quarter of 2020. I remember David sending me an email and asking me if I could remove Contagion from there because they hadn't talked about it. And I was like, yeah, of course. And now it's actually in my hand. It's crazy how time flies because I feel like I just made that video yesterday. So this is the five issue miniseries that came out in 2019. It is all written by Ed Brisson. Uh, each issue has a different artist though. And it, it's pretty much this spores are attacking uh, different characters throughout the Marvel Universe. And of course the thing is the first one to con uh, confront the Mole Man and they don't know, nor will I tell you, if the spores are from space, if it's a virus, if there's a zombie outbreak, what exactly is going on. But there's a lot of characters here that I like to call the street level characters that join in the fight, like Iron Fist, Cloak and Dagger, Luke Cage, um, those kind of characters. I think eventually, yeah, Moon Knight joins the fight, Jessica Jones, they're all in here. And like I said, it's got different artists. Uh, I read this as it was coming out. It was a really fun series. I'm a big fan of Ed Brisson. He's the guy that did the Dead Man Logan. He finished out Old Man Logan. As a matter of fact, I think they, yeah, they have his series right here. Surprise, we never got an Old Man Logan oversized hardcover. And let's look at the extras here in the back. So it looks like each issue had a variant, just one variant. all drawn by Ryan Brown. Uh, this volume has 112 pages, by the way, maybe the number five variant they put somewhere else. No, I guess there's only four variants and they all connect. Okay, issue five was left out. Sad, 112 pages, $15.99. And you can purchase all these books from... This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties... Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. 
Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. That was the contents of the book, the page count, and again, coming out January 15th, or depending on where you get your books. This was the Uncanny Omar. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. Remember, you can find us on Patreon, and remember that we are also on Redbubble. And all that information is in the description down below. Don't forget to come back tonight for a live episode of Old Reader, New Reader. Uh, it's featuring Maddie and Tina. And I think they're going to have a special guest. I don't know. This was pre-recorded, so that's another thing. I won't be replying back to comments. So remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint. <laughs>